I'm very fortunate to live in this area, being so close to Bonnie Down, and with the bass fishing and stuff that goes on here, it's it's great. I love it. It takes you away from the everyday thing that's happening to you, and it's uh, you can focus on something different than what's happening in your life. Like it's you know you're focusing on the catching of the fish and that kind of thing. And I love being on the water. We log probably. 400 hours a year on the water. So yeah, we, sp we love it. <laughs> Estevan is, it's a nice little city. Uh, there's a very uh, vast variety of uh, terrain here. The outcroppings of the sandstone down by Roch Percy, you got your spill piles, and then you get into your flatlands where the farming land is, and then you got your uh, uh, places like Boundary Dam. Lots of different landscapes to see here. And around Estevan here with Boundary Dam, we get the opportunity to fish for the bass. It was dammed up for the power station, for Boundary Dam Power Station, which I believe was built in, I think, 63. Uh, it's a very interesting place to fish. It's, uh, you can use a variety of techniques. Uh, we're trying to catch bass today, so we're trying different things. There's a, you know, there's a, it drops, you got your shallows, and then you got your, it drops into your 10 to 20 feet real quick in places, and then you got your flats where there's lots of weed growth and stuff, which is good for the fish. Uh, and you know, you run your contours and your edges and stuff to catch walleyes and pike, and you know, it's, it's a good variety of, of stuff in uh, Boundary Down. There's one. What's that? There's one. Got one? Whoa, <laughs> little walleye. Come here, little dog. Oh, well, we finally caught something. <laughs> oh, look at that tree over there. Look at all the turtles on that tree over there. It's just loaded. From what I've heard, it's a, a Texas strain of bass that it was put in here. Uh, the, abs the year it was introduced, I guess it was in the early 80s. There's not a whole lot of history on it, uh, even through the Sask environment and stuff. Nobody really needs, seems to know a whole lot about it. They're a, they're non-native fish, but the reason that they put them in here it was due to the temperature of the uh, hot water return at the power station. The temperature of the water is enough to keep them alive. It's uh, it's different because this lake never freezes up. The water temperature usually stays in the 50 degree mark. There's one. Got one. That's a bass. A good one too. You can let me get him this time. Here he's right here. Yes. Woo. <laughs> That's a base one. That's a nice clean one, that's for sure. It's That was on the outside edge. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, you hit it on the way down. Oh, well, these ones have some Yeah, bad. they've been eating. But his mouth don't look bad either. No, I don't think he's been hooked before. No. Away he goes. They have pictures of me when I was about five years old holding a pike that was as tall as I was. And I think it's just, you know, it's gone from there. I had a friend of mine that uh, when we first moved down here and he took me out, and after you catch your first bass, you're hooked. It's, it's an incredible, the fight that they have is it's uh, second to none. Pike. That's what you got too. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Who's is bigger? I think mine is. 
Ooh. A double ball had her. Yeah, mine's bigger. You guys got matching fishies. <laughs> and matching shirt. <laughs> it's this here that matters though. Oh jeez. <laughs> you got pliers in? No, I don't. Oh, there he goes. I got him. Got him? Yeah. There's two for you, finally. There's a couple anyways in the wrong species, but. Well, the reason we I, I got my kids into fishing is something because I was doing it, and uh, it's a great family thing for any family to get out and, you know, you sit on a spot or jig for walleyes. The bass fishing would be a little bit tougher, but it's great when you can take, you know, you go out with your son or your daughter or whatever and be able to go out and catch fish. So what's the pike in here today? Hmm. There's gotta be a bass in here. Ooh. What you got? I think this one might be a bass. Oh, dearly. It's got a different goal to her. You want to pass me? Nope. Yep. Walleye. That. Nah. And yeah. <laughs> nice one. Thank you, surgeon. That's a really nice one. That's a good one. Got the nap. There we go. Nice walleye, anyways. He's a pretty looking fish. He is. He's looking really good. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Nice boundary. <laughs> 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 He's got different ideas, this fella. He knows where he's headed. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice boundary down walleye. <laughs> The memories that come from it and the fun, the laughs and all that stuff, that's, you know, that's what it's all about. The fishing experience is something that is, is a really good experience for anybody. And it's something, you know, like uh, for, even for me, I've watched the, the bass fishing on TV and stuff and then you get to, you know, get to try and do what the, the pros are doing and stuff like that. And it's, it, that's just cool. It's, don't get discouraged. Stay with it because it's sometimes they're good. They're, you know, they're, one time you can go out and catch a pile of them and then, you know, sometimes they're just, they're just not biting it. And, you know, try different things. Don't be, you know, don't be afraid of it. That's for sure. We do a lot of walleye fishing and stuff like that. And the bass is just, it's a, they're more fun to catch, I think is what, because there's nothing like watching them come out over, out of a, come after a top water lure or something like that. Like, it's just, it's incredible. If I was going to look for the perfect spot for bass, what I'd look for, is a good weed patch. If you can find any uh, holes or any spaces in between, there's cast your lures in there because not most of the time, uh, the bass will be in underneath the weed. It's a little bass, I think, or maybe not. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, got off. Right there, it was a little bass. This is a little bass, I think. Yeah, woo! I got rid of the steak. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, all right, finally. Not a giant by no means, but holy smokes. It's good to see little ones though. Yeah, it is. I finally got my best. Boundary dam, large moat. They're pretty fish. They are really pretty. Yeah. But you get the sun and all the, it, you know, the, inter the colors all start to sparkle and.
catch and release is huge because we want to see this last for our kids and my grandkids and everybody else to be able to enjoy what we've enjoyed already. And just the experience of it is, you know, it's second to none.